Hello guys and very welcome! Today I will show you my spot welding device that I am using when I create homemade batteries. I create my battery from used 18650 cells. There is plenty of videos out there as you have probably already seen. I have just built this one here and uh, I thought that I might show you how easy this was to build and it is actually working very very good. First I will just set this up here so it will stay there because this is jumping around if I don't secure it. Then we have the welding tips made from two uh, copper wires. Nothing special at all. Just insulated them with some uh, shrink tubes with glue inside and some wire straps around so it can be easy to hold and just make a good connection to the nickel strip and then just push the button and give it a spot weld. And about the uh, activation button, this is just an um, ordinary spring, uh, spring release push button. I used to knock it like this. Just to have a fast and uh, distinct push on the button anyway. Alright, and uh, here we have the uh, jumper cables. Just cheap ones that I have bought. So, uh, and then I just connected them to some old car batteries that I had laying around. And I have... Uh, Connected those in series, so we have 24 volt. Oh, okay. Where were I? Yep, we have 24 volts. And this is of course just an old uh, solenoid from a starter, from an old car. The starter itself was just burned out, but the solenoid was okay, so I just took this to this little project. With this one, it will uh, work pretty good. I hope you can see it there. So, I have not seen any difference in the, weld in the spot weldings if I push this for a long time, or if I just have it a very short time. It actually seems to be just a lot of more heat if I push it for a longer time. Uh, and uh, when I use 24 volts, I always have 1.15 millimeters of nickel strip. And uh, if I go down to null, uh, 0 0.10, then I use only one battery and therefore 12 volt. You have to try yourself, try this out before you just go on and, and start to welding. Right? So, I will try to show you how it works. Here I have three 18650 cells and this is used cells. So I have to clean them pretty good before I do some welding on this one. And if there is any rust or anything like that, of course you have to remove that. If not, the spot welding be, will be very, very bad. All right, I am going to use this kind of strip here. Let me put them in the middle here, just like that. And of course I want to have some gloves on me. And these cells are fully charged, so I normally do welding and stuff when the cells are pretty empty, down to uh, 3 volts or so. But now I have 4.12 volts on them, so they are really fully charged. So I have to be very careful and wear eye protection if there will be anything wrong here when I am doing this so I can protect my eyes. Okay. 
I hope I don't have my hands in your way. Just like so, and here we go with the first one. I hope you can see it. And just to demonstrate how strong it is. And you can see that you actually have two holes here. So the spots are very, very strong. Okay. So let's do it again. And I always make two spots on every battery, so I have four points of good connection. I will try to use my left hand here so you can see it. Right. There, here we go. Just like that. That was not good. That was happening because I didn't use enough force to push it down so I burnt the nickel strip and now when this happens you have to check your electrodes or copper nails I just used to clean them like this so I don't have any soot or debris on them. <laughs> then I try again. Push a little harder this time. It was, was much better. So if you ever had thought about to get one of these spot welding machines on eBay or Amazon, try this. I mean, it doesn't cost so much and it works so good, at least for me. So I think you will be happy with it. And then you don't have to wait three to four weeks just for it to arrive when you're standing with your pack and want to build it right now, as I normally do <laughs> anyway. But uh, well, that will be everything for today. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next time.